some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everyone, welcome back to Board Games Unlocked, and we are doing a uh, discussion for Say It With Me. Shay! Hey. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> That's it! <laughs> oh no! Uh, sorry. sorry for my father, everyone. He's clearly geriatric and can't uh, speak anymore. Get the third um, thing. Yeah, and anyway, Shake That City, the newest game by AEG, uh, a. a game that anyone knows about because of the gimmick of you took all the cubes out. <laughs> the gimmick. You're in the wrong box. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the Wild Knights box sucks. I know. I'll never, never use it again. Uh, yeah, the gimmick of this, of it uh, being a, a shaker, that you. Uh, You'd shake, and then you press a little thing, and then you have a three by three grid. It's genius. It uh, it just works. Mm -hmm. Boggle uh, could use this. That's true. <laughs> uh, and I mean, so basically, if you like tiny towns or between two cities, just those kind of games, uh, I think you're gonna like this. What did you send me? It yeah. doesn't matter. Don't read oh. it right now. <laughs> uh, read it out loud. Is, I what? want a divorce. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like huh. at the game table. Um, you so yeah, I, I quite enjoyed it. It had that that good level of, you know, filler, but still thought yeah. behind it. Yeah. Uh, that it, it, I never felt like it was kind of going through the motions. I was, I mean, this gimmick here just, it's just, if this, if this wasn't here, I'd be like, why would I play this? I can play a much thinkier game of the same volume in Tiny Towns. Yeah. Uh, but this this little shaker <laughs> is so neat. It's compelling. It is compelling every time. Every time, just just shaking it, then <laughs> <laughs> and then flooping them out, and then it just floops right out. Perfectly formed. Yep. Uh, not not skewed in any way. Actually, no. So every game we've played, like. I mean, it, it hasn't been like, oh god, like it fuck it fucked up again. Yeah. Let's um, let me take it. Yeah. Uh, you weren't having to like yeah. aggressively like make sure you had to like slam it down or yeah, like, push just, hard just like. <laughs> Simple, sturdy. And you don't get one road. Okay. Top quality rubber bands. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and it just has enough. I mean, this is one of those games that like you can't really plan for anything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even uh, during your turn. I <laughs> right. It's like, all right, I just need one road. Come on, one road, baby. And, well, there's the one time it doesn't all come out. Oh, because I didn't shake it. Yeah. I forgot. You have to shake it. It's called Shake That City, it not is Press called, the not, It's not, not Place That City. Shake that. You gotta shake it and then go... Yep. There we go. Oh, look, and I got two roads. Or four uh, houses, and yeah. it's like... Or one single factory. Yeah. Um. So what do you guys think? I liked it. It was cute. Yeah. It's... I like um, placing things. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Simple, straightforward, puzzler, trying to create the right combinations mm -hmm. while planning ahead for... I really need to leave that spot open for something else. <clears throat> oh, crap, I didn't get it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think it's also, like, two games is perfectly enough as well. So, like, it's not one that you're going to be like, oh, i got to play it again. Like... Yeah. Yeah. It would be good in a huge group of filler games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, they did this or as, as a genuine filler between games. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it says you can play four, but, like, they were doing, um, like, because uh, you could theoretically, one person can notice, because how they were doing it through the Kickstarter was AEG was, like, just running, like, hey, here's the, you know, the, the uh, uh, what, what would you call this? The grid of the day. Mm -hmm. uh, and people could play this on their own. You just have a six by six grid, mm -hmm. and you can just place it. And then they just you send a picture of that. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, that's what I'll take. And then you just play it. So you can play this. This is like one of those perfect, almost COVID games. You could actually play over <laughs> a computer. Yeah. As long as one person owns it, and they're just like, okay, well, hey, here's what it looks like. Yeah. And the only the only limit on having more than four people would be just. Possibly running out of the tiles. Yeah. Which, that's easy enough to mitigate. Yeah. Or everyone having the chance to be the first choice. Yes. Um, and if that was taken out by nobody gets first choice, everybody can pick everything they want. Right. I mean, that's, that's again, a, another layer of strategy that was kind of a fun frustration. 
And it's good that they eliminated that toward the end. Toward, yes, if that was throughout the entire game, oh, yeah. that would just be so dumb. I'm then sure it would they playtested be... it and went, no, <laughs> yeah. it's not going to work. Because, <laughs> yeah, by the end, it is it is like three rounds of freedom, of just free-for-all, pick whatever you want, is good. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't need the whole the, the whole game. Uh I mean, sometimes I would actually say three rounds isn't even really enough when you can pick whatever because you're like, I need, I have one specific spot for a road, and if one doesn't come out like the first game we played was, I'm like, I just need one road, one road, and none came out. It's like, damn it. But which might be frustrating for some people. Um, I don't think this is that type of game. Twenty minutes. This is twenty to forty minutes. I mean, I'd say that's even. 20 minutes might be generous. I could see this really just... Four people. Yeah. Yeah, but even then, since, like... And there is some... I mean, theoretically... Extra, it's it's not... Just pick something. It doesn't matter. It does matter. But yeah. it's, it's all... Uh, symmet uh, uh, mm -hmm. Not symmetrical. Mm -hmm. um, simultaneous. Yeah. So... All but the first. Like, theoretically, you right. could just have one person shaking it and popping it, but it's like, okay, your turn, pick. Yeah, it's true. That's the only waiting you really have is yeah. waiting to see what someone's going to pick. Because it's like, okay, I really want those parks. Oh, good, he took factories. Okay, whoo! Yeah. Yeah. Now I can grab my parks. Yeah. Yeah. The only other thing is like, yeah, if you really needed parks and they took parks off, then you have to kind of like really bend your brain. Yeah. Um, and what's really odd is like in the rule book, it doesn't say anything about what happens if you can't place. But in our experience, you should always be able to play something yeah. whether or not that's ideal is that's just, you're never going to yeah. get a pattern and a building that you're that's going to be perfect every single t <gasps> every single time but that's why i like these games because if it was always perfect placement every single time then just say you built your city and don't even bother yeah that's something that yeah theoretically it is possible for someone to hit a situation where they can't play anything yeah but Statistically, it apparently almost never happens. Yeah. So I'm I'm okay with that. Yeah, I. It is weird that they didn't mention it yeah. in the rule book, like because I agree it should be something that, like, or or have one a fallback. Yeah. Like some games have, you you can only place one thing, but it can be whatever you want. Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's true. Like cartographers, has that fallback. Yes. Yeah, I think a few other games have that where yeah. it's just like. Uh, it's usually a lot of polyomino games where it's like you can't place any of the options out there, so you get like the singular one by one mm. square just to place. Okay. Um, Which in this game that could be actually way too powerful to want to I agree. give it away. I agree. Yeah. I. Uh, I mean, honestly, I don't. I don't really have any like negatives. This isn't like the most grandiose game. The one thing I don't really care for, uh, and it feels like they were just trying to kind of come up with some gamery thing. Is I actually don't really like the eh. edge scoring. I completely forgot about them until you were like, "Oh, have you guys been keeping track of that?" And I was like, "No." Yeah, exactly. it's an afterthought. I mean, I thought about it like once or twice, mm -hmm. deciding to put this here, but it really is not worth enough points. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's too difficult to manage in anything other than just luck. Well, the fact that also you have you can do one or the other, either fill out that entire row, which hope which you're most likely going to do, or get four of one type of terrain, mm -hmm. it's like, they're not worth enough points that it's gonna be that big of a game-changing difference. Right, uh, right. Because I got almost all of them this last game I played, and that was actually, well, I threw the thing away, but that was a, uh... Guys. Hey. Uh, my dogs are being crazy. Yeah, so crazy. Um, guys, come here. <laughs> Hi, puppies. Um, but... Yeah, like, I got almost all of them, and it, it's like, oh, well, you almost got all of them, too, or you did, too. So now it's just kind of like, if we, there was a scoring track, it's kind of like the sun even moved the tracks because we're just shifting in the same uh, differential. Yep. Yeah. So they're there. Uh, I mean, if there was a ton of variety, but you, we had the same problem with um, Tenpenny Parks, mm -hmm. which was the theme park polyomino game where it's like, they're worth the same number of points regardless of how difficult or easy they are, so why even have them? Yeah. So, I actually, I really don't even like these. Yeah. It's there. We for did, sure. yeah. We did also try the Wild Knights. Oh, yeah. 
which comes with another box. Uh, now I do have a complaint about this. This box is so fucking small that with this expansion, it's kind of a pain in the ass to try and fit both of them. Right. Uh, and is... the two shaker boxes are identical except for the art. Exactly. So yeah. there's really no point in having Unless the, yeah. the second one. Exactly. And it's like, yeah, you would think, true. oh, maybe they designed this a little bit different to fit <laughs> these extra cubes, but they don't. Yeah. No. They're, and they're... also, I don't know, like, I get why they named it Wild Knights, but, like, I truly thought it was going to be, like, I don't know. It wasn't wild. It wasn't wild. Yeah, it was wild. Okay. It was quite literally wild. It was kind of crazy. <laughs> Like, it just really blew open the doors of the game. Yeah, it wasn't as wacky as I thought it was going to be. Um, right. But, like, yeah, it doesn't really... You don't really need a new box. You just could be like, hey, and also, if you want to, you can play with the white just cubes. Just put the white cubes in the regular box, yeah. They also uh, don't... Because, yeah, you would think, oh, they're going to add more building tiles. Mm -hmm. Like, for, like, casinos and things like that. But they didn't. Yeah, because it looks like it's going to introduce, like, nightlife. Or, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I think that is kind of a missed opportunity. I mean, it is a mini expansion, really. Right. Like, it's, like, it came in, like, a, a bubble-wrapped envelope <laughs> with this sheet that is both the, uh, like, the, the rules and the cover. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> all, and all you do is you just add a white cube in, and then the first eight rounds, you add more white cubes, and these just become wilds. Mm-hmm. I, I, eh, this is kind of one where I, I'm kind of in Brett's headspace where I was like, this didn't really do much, yeah. except just kind of make it, not annoying, but I, I didn't feel like it was adding any more thought process. Sure, it's yeah. Just, or, or nothing but analysis. Yeah. Like, do I want to use that? If I do that, it's just more thinking. Yeah. yeah. Never once did I, We scored like, slightly better, but... I actually scored worse. Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't. No, I, I scored. I scored better. Yeah, I, I scored like, worse. But it yeah. didn't. It didn't have a big impact on anything. No, and because it's evenly distributed, it's going to have the same statistical differential. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So the Wild Knights expansion is just kind of there, I guess. If you play this a ton, uh, if you really love it, you'll probably like having the variety. Yeah. But you guys have uh, any negatives? Any any? There was some confusion reading through the rules and understanding some of the scoring. This is the dumbest way that I've actually seen game end explained. Where they, and they do say, the back of this book explains how scoring works. Uh, but it was just weird that in the game end section, it just thematically explains what the different terrain pieces do. Like, it's like, oh, how do you score factories? Or, uh... Uh, the factories do better next to other factories and need to be next to roads for their operations. Right, but how do they score? And then you're like, oh, it's in the back. Yeah. Like, at least it's there. See. But, yeah. Yeah, the theme, I guess, is a memory aid, but it's still abstract. Right. So. Uh, and then, I mean, they do have another side uh, of the board, which is beachfront, so it kind of uh, just gives you... It scores the buildings a little bit different. So in this tiny box, there is enough variety because there's another variant called the construction variant that adds these uh, construction tiles, meaning that those, I think it's, uh, I haven't tried that, but I do remember them playing with it. It was, um, they are obstructing terrain until you place a, a particular type of building adjacent to it. So like this one, would you would need to place a shop or a park next to it to remove it to make it available so it just kind of blocks up your your board so tiny box i think this was like 20 bucks 20 30 bucks mm -hmm. on kickstarter so it's not bad yeah no i backed it for that reason and, and i like it yeah i mean I'll, i don't think i'll ever get tired of this like, oh yeah I, this, yeah <laughs> this is a good game for like a group of friends because it's not hard to learn yeah um it's quick and easy yeah and it doesn't fall into that, like, Tiny Towns, I think, is great, especially great spatial awareness of trying to build, but it can get really annoying, especially in large groups where it's like, wood, 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 wood. Cool, I fucking need anything else. Yeah. Like, please pick, so oh, I get one chance to pick something? Okay, I need seven different resources. Clay. Wood again? Oh, yeah, okay, okay, cool. So, I like Tiny Towns in small groups. Yeah. Um... This one I would play with, I mean, theoretically, more than four. Yeah. But, but yeah. Small, light, uh, light thinking, filler game. Uh, you guys got it? Anything else? I think that's it for me. Yeah. Brett, you got anything? 
Can I think of anything? Cool. Very good. All right. Uh, on a scale of one to ten, what would you guys give? Shake that city. <laughs> I'm going to give it an 8. An 8? Yep. I'll say 8. I'm also at an 8. Ha! Uh, I, uh, I quite enjoy it. Now, is this a game that I would play all the time? Probably not, but this would be one that... Like, this wouldn't be one, oh, you're coming over on a weeknight. Uh, like, mm -hmm. but yeah, I'll break out Shake That City. That'll be our game. Mm -hmm. But if it, this is a fun, like, quick uh, bring out, and you're going to have a good time, you're going to... Yeah. Like, it's a good, like, gateway into, like the game day kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, or if you are the type of person that just likes these lighter, sips, quicker games, mm -hmm. yeah. this would go in a stack with four or five others. Yeah, exactly. And just go through them. Yeah. Exactly. This is good. Like if you, yeah, again, like you're going to go somewhere for the weekend and mm -hmm. you know you're going to have downtime. Yeah. 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 So. Perfect. That's our thoughts on Shake That City. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.